Hey devs, and welcome back to the Goobar podcast, where we talk about building great software and helping others to do the same. Kotlin versus Java. Java versus Kotlin. Should I learn Java or Kotlin for Android? What's better for Android, Kotlin or Java? I get these questions a lot. I see these questions a lot. And for new Android developers, I think it makes perfect sense that there would be confusion and questions around which language to use for Android. So in this week's episode, I wanted to revisit these questions, and rather than my usual long-winded explorations of the topic, I want to give some quick opinionated answers to help developers develop their language learning plans. Essentially, I want to create an FAQ for some of these common questions and help give you a quick reference guide. So we're going to just jump right in today. So the first question here, which is better for Android development, Java or Kotlin? Well, Kotlin is the preferred language for Android development in 2021, in my opinion. Both Java and Kotlin can be used to build performant, useful applications, but Google's libraries, tooling, documentation, and learning resources continue to embrace a Kotlin-first approach, making it the better language for Android today, in my opinion. Does Google recommend Kotlin for Android development? The short answer here is yes. Google recommends developers start building Android applications with Kotlin and has taken an increasingly Kotlin-first approach to modern Android development. Many Android Jetpack libraries have been either written completely in Kotlin from the ground up or support Kotlin language features such as coroutines. So we see that the, the code is really becoming increasingly Kotlin first, Kotlin centric. It is becoming easier to write Android apps with Kotlin. So it makes sense here that Google would recommend that for new apps. When did Google start supporting Kotlin for Android? This one's quick. Google announced official Android support for Kotlin at Google I.O. in 2017. That was an exciting announcement. Uh, if you haven't watched that before, I'll include a link to the, the Google I.O. presentation where that support was sort of first talked about in, in depth. And it was an exciting moment in Android history there. When did Android become Kotlin first? Google adopted their Kotlin first approach to Android at Google I.O. in 2019. So it's really been about two years at this point since this shift to a more Kotlin first stance from Google. And we're seeing the, the results of that now with uh, Android Jetpack and, and all of the support for coroutines and, and flow and really just a full embracing of Kotlin at many different levels of the Android ecosystem. Is Java still used for Android development? Yes, absolutely. Java is still 100% supported by Google for Android development. The majority of Android apps today have some mix of both Java and Kotlin code. Developers can build the same functionality with Java as they can with Kotlin. So there's no reason you cannot use Java for Android today. Will Android stop supporting Java in the future? It's unlikely that Android will stop supporting Java at any time soon. The Android SDK is still mostly written in Java. The majority of Android apps still include Java. The Android OS is built upon a Java virtual machine. To move away from Java completely would represent a monumental shift in the Android ecosystem. And it's one that I think is unlikely to happen anytime soon. Is Kotlin replacing Java? No, Java will not be replaced completely by Kotlin. Java will likely continue to lose some market share to Kotlin within the Android ecosystem, but Java will remain one of the most used programming languages in the world. While Java for Android continues to be constrained to Java version 8 uh, beyond Android, Java is quickly evolving and adopting many features from other modern programming languages, including Kotlin. So in, in the Java ecosystem outside of Android, Java is alive, it's thriving, it's putting out, I think, two major releases a year. It's evolving very quickly 
and I do not think we're going to see a a huge loss in market share sort of globally uh, for, for Java. Is Kotlin enough for Android development? Yes, definitely. You can build Android applications using only Kotlin. And as documentation and tooling and libraries become more Kotlin focused, building apps exclusively with Kotlin will become even easier. Should I learn Java or Kotlin for Android? I think you should learn Kotlin first these days. If you have to pick between learning Java or Kotlin to start developing Android apps, you'll have an easier time using current tools and learning resources if you know Kotlin. If you already know Java, and really want to just focus on the Android part of things, then you could defer learning Kotlin in favor of focusing on the Android SDK. You could get comfortable with the fundamentals of Android development, and then start picking up Kotlin on the side. In my experience, and in experience with chatting with others, if you do know a little bit of Java, picking up Kotlin is a pretty fast thing, at least to the point where you feel comfortable writing it. Maybe it's not perfectly idiomatic, but you can start using it. So it's really not a huge time investment to pick it up after the fact. Can I learn Kotlin without knowing Java? Yes, I think so. While knowing Java or any programming language will make it easier to learn Kotlin, Kotlin is a great first language thanks to things like static typing, type inference, and an abundance of learning resources uh, and also it has really strong IDE support. And so it points out common errors and mistakes for you and has useful you know, refactoring tools and such. All of these things can make it really easy to start playing with a language and, and learning that language. Is Kotlin easier than Java? Many will find Kotlin easier to learn and write than Java. A number of things factor into this experience, including Kotlin's concise syntax, type inference, explicit nullability, and extensive standard library. With all the modern languages out there being very sort of concise and, and expressive, I think when we compare Kotlin to Java, especially in the Android space, where again, we're constrained to old versions of Java, Kotlin feels easier to use for most developers that I talk to. Certainly not everybody, but for many developers that I talk to, they do feel that Kotlin is easier. Is Kotlin faster than Java? The short answer here is no, although the true answer depends on what performance metrics you are interested in. At runtime, the performance of the languages is very similar. This is maybe not that surprising, given that we're using the same sort of underlying JVM byte code for both languages. There might be some performance differences based on kind of the efficiencies of the code you write and certain languages might make that easier or more difficult to write efficient code particularly in the kotlin side we do a lot of things with uh, collections and standard library uh, functions and, and filtering and chaining and mapping and such and it is possible to write inefficient code that way uh, but it's not inherently uh, slower necessarily significantly at runtime However, at compile time, Kotlin is measurably slower than Java. The extent of the slowdown depends on a number of factors, such as the usage of annotation processors and the presence of mixed Java and Kotlin source sets. But in the largest sort of investigation into this that's been sort of published or that I've run across, kind of across the board, there was a slowdown in compile times for Kotlin code. Now, we'll caveat this in that most Kotlin developers that I talk to are willing to put up with slightly slower builds and gain the expressiveness and the, the developer experience of Kotlin. So it's a reasonable trade-off for most Kotlin developers. All right, so that is kind of it for this quick FAQ. This is just a quick episode this week. To wrap up, I'll say one more time, if you're developing Android apps in 2021, you'll be well served to learn at least a little bit of Kotlin. That's where Google is investing, employers are increasingly wanting Kotlin experience, and for many, Kotlin will be a much more enjoyable development experience. Does that mean you can't write Android apps in Java? 
Absolutely not. Java is here to stay. You can continue writing your apps in Java, but I do think you'll have an easier time moving forward if you know Kotlin. If you enjoyed today's episode, leave a review and be sure to subscribe for future chats about software development and career. And remember, if you have a question or a topic idea, I'd love to hear from you. And you can send those in to podcast at goobar.io for your question or idea to possibly be featured in a future episode. Thank you so much for listening. Remember to dream, learn, and create, and I'll catch you all in the next episode. Until next time, devs.